For RCR Wireless News, I'm Sean Kinney and we're here at Mobile World Congress with Sophie Legault of Expo to learn a little bit more about how Front Hall and CRAN architectures are changing operator approach to test and measurement. So Sophie, as they look to get more capacity and more efficiency out of their networks, how is Front Hall and CRAN changing the equation for test and measurement? Uh, it's changing it quite a bit. Uh, it brings a lot of challenges from a technology perspective, from a knowledge perspective, and also different performance requirements, and different also new opportunities where uh, they can actually look at the RF spectrum from a remote location. So a lot of new challenges, but also uh, a lot of nice new uh, ways of testing that are available. And we're going to take a look at some of those, right? Exactly. That's what I'm going to show you now. All right. Okay. So as mentioned, uh, going to 5G uh, frontal really brings new, new challenges from a frontal perspective. Uh, obviously, 5G demands higher capacity, lower latency, uh, more consistent user experience. So that brings challenges from a frontal perspective. Uh, really significant increase in the, uh, in the capacity, uh, the use of NSV, uh, SDN, NFV for uh, simplifying the network. Also, ultra low latency. Latency is becoming a key challenge from a frontal perspective. Uh, things like moving to packet based uh, frontal rather than CIPRI, because CIPRI is proprietary, can't scale, as well as WDM for fiber, uh, the better use of the fiber. So we know that the, uh, the, C -RAN, the, the RAN uh, is evolving, the frontal is evolving. We were you know, more copper based uh, in the previous years, and now we're really moving to more centralized uh, uh, C RAN where we have the pooling of the BBUs. So basically what that brings from a testing perspective is that the service providers have to deal with new technologies like fiber, like CIPRI, uh, also having access to the RF signal from a remote location, so multiple uh, kilometers away uh, from the antenna. So that brings opportunity, but also a number of challenges from a, from a CRAN uh, testing perspective. So what are the challenges uh, for testing frontal? Number one challenge really for the service provider is really the interference. It's really the worst enemy of the carrier. Interference continues to increase, increase come from different, different sources, uh, as well as uh, really going to 5G with the new spectrum, it's going to be even more. So easier ways to look at interference, identify interference is really critical. Uh, also, uh, the migration of the workforce, as I mentioned, going from a copper-based technology to fiber, they need to know about fiber, they need to know about CIPRI. Um, also, being more efficient from an operational perspective, going faster, so easier tools, things that are one button, very simple to test, and that can, can accumulate the results together, uh, really to analyze and, uh, and be able to make sure everything is working properly. And finally, from a network performance perspective, there are harder criteria from a testing perspective, looking at multiple technologies, also traffic prioritization, higher bandwidth. So all of these are really the key challenges for a testing perspective. Now, how Expo addresses these, these uh, challenges is really, we have the smallest all-in-one product that can test all the, across these multiple technologies and with very easy, uh, usability of the product, so very simple testing. And it, we really see it in four steps. The number one is really testing the fiber itself, uh, looking at uh, inspecting the fiber, making sure the fiber is clean, so that's a basic step but very important. And we have a fiber, uh, fiber scope that we can, uh, we can test with and automatically get a pass-fail on the connectors. Then we have a, our patented IOLM technology that allows to characterize the fiber very fast and very efficiently. Again, as a one button, very easy uh, to read results. We can also, with that same uh, product, uh, look at uh, testing the CIPRI performance, testing the latency, which is cri critical in the, uh, in the front hall, and also emulating the, the BBU and emulating the, the remote radio head for proper installation, which is also a very important step. And finally, also now, again, in the same solution, being able to look at the spectrum uh, from the optical signal, so looking at the IQ data, extracting it, and looking at the RF spectrum, if there's interferes, if there's PIM, really on the, on the network. So really one tool that can provide the full solution uh, and really uh, easy solution for the uh, service providers.
So Sophie, now that we have a, a better understanding of how Front Hall and CRAN and some of these other technologies are impacting test and measurement, wanted to take a closer look at the uh, FTB1 Pro here to really understand how out in the field these yeah. different test machinations uh, are going to go. Okay, okay. So quickly, in terms of the FTB1 Pro, it's a very compact platform. So again, going out in the field, you want something that's light, easy to transport, and it includes uh, an OTDR portion, so basically to test the fiber, and then you have a protocol module that can do uh, Ethernet, it can do CIPRI and the OPSE uh, as well if you're not using CIPRI, if you're using OPSE, and also as part also of the product, uh, you have the RF uh, analysis going into the CIPRI, you can extract uh, the, the CIPRI signal, RF signal from the, from the CIPRI. And going with it is also the fiber inspection probe that is uh, Wi-Fi enabled, so very easy to transport and inspect fiber, a uh, one button touch that can automatically uh, give you a pass fail. So from an efficiency perspective with the, uh, with the user, everything is extremely simplified. First of all, everything is in the same unit, very simplified, everything is one button from the FIP, from testing the CIPRI, it's a simple start stop with a pass fail. Same thing from an OTDR perspective, IOLM, one button, pass fail, very simple. And that's what the, uh, what the users want. Also, everything is combined uh, into one report and can be easily uploaded to the cloud. So again, from an efficiency perspective, uh, no touch, everything is simple and, and, and all the results are combined together. Sophie, thank you so much for uh, sharing Expo's perspective on how test and measurement is evolving and also for showing us the product. Thank you very much. Thanks.